Welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a waterfall chart in Microsoft Excel. A waterfall chart shows increases and decreases visually, as well as the total along the graph. You can think of it as a line graph, but it shows visually the increases and decreases as boxes, and it's best to use with financial information. So for this example today, we've got net profit for each month here. It's probably going to have time across the bottom, so our time intervals are going to be the months. You can see we've got the months down in this column and the net profit for each month in this column. We've also got the total at the bottom for the entire year, but we don't need to include that when we're selecting the data for the chart. To create the waterfall chart, firstly go to the insert tab at the top and then find the icon for it here. It's this one in the chart section. Click on it and click the top one to insert it. To insert the data, you need to be selected on the graph and then go to the design tab and then click on the select data button here. Make sure your cursor is in this box here and then go ahead and select all of your data. We're going to be including the titles, but we're not going to be including this total here as we don't need it. It should look something like this. If you click OK, you can see we've got the basic graph and it's automatically made it look like this. And you can see that it's looking like it should. So to explain the graph then, the orange colours, as you can see by this legend here, show decreases. So we started at zero and we've gone down by 5,000. We've then got the total here, which is the grey icon. And then we've gone down by another 3,000 to a total of minus 8,000 here, which is shown on the vertical axis. And then we get profits, so we creep up with the blue colours and then losses up here as well which go back down to the final total of 38,000 which is summed up there but is also shown on the graph by reading across from the left to right. The first thing I'm going to do to the graph is add the title so we can call it something like net profit for the year. Another change you might want to make is the width of each of these boxes. To do that you need to select the graph first and then click one of the boxes. You should get these little blue circles in each corner then go to the Format Data Series screen here on the right, click the furthest right icon which is the bar icon and then you can change the gap width which will affect the size of the boxes. As well as the box width, another common thing you will want to change is the colours. Now this can be quite tricky, if you go to these change colours here you can choose the theme for the entire graph but there might not be the colour you want here. If you look online, you might find that the best way to do this is to go to the Page Layout tab, but that's not the case, as that will change the theme for the entire spreadsheet, and it will start changing the colours that we've already got in the table here. So to change these individual colours, so the increase and the decrease, click on the legend, and just select one of them, so we've selected decrease, and then you can go to the Format Legend entry screen here, you should see that. Go to the Solid Fill tick, and choose a different colour. If we choose red and then click off, you can see it's changed all of the decreases to red. And then if we were to do the same, click on the legend and then click on just increase. Go to the fill and change it to green. So that'll change whatever is in this table. So if we were to go ahead and put minus 5000 in for May, you can see it's made the graph look a lot different, but it's got the red minus in for May. There are things that we can add to the graphs so if we go to the design tab at the top and then go to add chart element we can add axis titles so this might be something you want to do. We might not need it in every single case as you can see at the bottom there we don't need to say that's each month because it's it's fairly obvious. We can also move where the chart title is from here as well. We can have no title or we can move it within the graph. We can also add data labels to show the exact number so we don't have to read across the graph but in this case it looks a bit messy and you might not need it in your case either. Grid lines might be helpful, it will make the graph much easier to read and it might help in certain cases when there's a lot of information on the graph. We can also change the position of the legend here as well so it's currently defaulted to the top but we can have it right, left or bottom. A few other things you can do, if you go back to the design tab you can choose some of the presets here. This will change the overall visual look of the graph. So it might add things like grid lines automatically. It's up to you. If you want to choose one of those, you can. There's also some quick layouts to choose as well. And this will stay away from the visual side of things, but will look at more of the format of the data. And if you wanted to change the entire chart type, you can go and do that in the design tab. Click on change chart type. 
and then you can choose another option from here and you can use the preview screen to see how it would look. And then finally to format the text you can do that by selecting the text you want to change. Go to the either the format tab or the home tab. You can do some of the presets in format but if you go to home you can change it just as you would with normal text in Excel. And that's it. That's the introduction to the waterfall chart. You can see how it's best used and that's with financial information and cumulative totals. If you did find the video helpful make sure you leave a like. Feel free to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in another video.